So NNN is a great tool for doing workflow orchestration, right? But it costs you something. It costs you at least $20 a month if you're buying it annually, that is. So that's like a $240 commitment. Or you could do it all for free, right? Like right now what you're seeing is like a local hosted version of NNN in which I have the ability of having all of my workflows locally. And it's almost the same thing as having it online. Basically, you just have a limitation here for where the workflows run. You can only run them yourself. But if you're trying to do just that, then this is a no-brainer. You should go for it. So I'm going to show you how I created a workflow. In this case, a JSON-LD generator, one that can help you appear faster on AI searches. In a few minutes, let's start with setting up the NNN instance locally. Okay, so here we are at uh, the docs.nnn.io hosting installation npm and I'm going to just follow the commands as they are. And this is the first command. We're going to copy it, open our terminal, and we're going to just paste this. And it asks me to should I proceed and I'm going to press enter. All right, amazing. It took about a minute and a half to actually do the job. It's still going through. Okay, and after three minutes of waiting, we finally have it. So I can either go here, or I can just press O to open in the browser. Let's test that out. I pressed O and the new browser has opened. And uh, here we are, we have to set up a new account that is separate from the account that you have online because this is an account that is local to your computer and it's gonna store the credentials locally. So I'm just gonna insert ariatlanai.com and I press next. And here's an important notification. You get a free license key that gives you these advanced features such as looking at your workflow history and also debugging as well as just searching for your executions, which actually you do want whenever you execute a workflow. You want to be able to look at the executions and see how things ran. And finally, having the ability to organize your workflows in folders. I, I like that, so I'll definitely opt in. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch with a workflow that I've made. Let's just click on start from scratch. The workflow is the following one. It basically generates what we call a schema markup, and it's what you see right here. It's just code that is static. You put it on your website, and it helps you rank for AI searches much better and much quicker, right? Because it basically gives images for the AI searches to reference. It also gives certain information, such as like, you know, where to sign up, where to search for, and some contact information. And I'm gonna go and copy it. I have it already on my digital NNN version. If you were to buy it, you would get a JSON and you just do the following thing. You would just import from a file. And here we are, we're just pasting. And we have to configure some API endpoints. Uh, it's expected specifically the credentials. So we're gonna do that. Click over here and create a new credential. And this is my local open router. So we're gonna go into open router right now and create an API key. In case you don't know how to do that, I have a video that I'm attaching at the bottom. It's very simple to get an open router account. And I created this and I'm copying it over. And as always, you wanna delete something you've shared with the public and paste it here and save. So I'm going to use, um, in this case, the existing model preview thinking. It's um, the one that I've optimized my workflow for. Next, we're going to do the same thing over here. I have an open router account already in place. And finally, I have to create credentials for sending an email. Okay, so the next thing to do is to establish our credentials for the Gmail node. And we're going to create a new credential. And we're going to go to console.cloud.google.com. And if you haven't made an account yet, you make one link it to your Gmail address. You're gonna end up in a homepage such as this one. And we're gonna go to APIs and services. And then we're gonna go to credentials. And we're gonna create a new credential from scratch. So this is gonna be an OAuth client ID. And the reason you pick that is because you can see there is a redirect URL that we need. So that's why we're gonna choose the OAuth client ID. This is just a basic web application. And we're gonna call this um, NNN local uh, JSON LD and we're gonna add some authorized origins. Okay, so over here, we're gonna add the URL from our local runtime. So it's gonna be just HTTP localhost 
5678. And the authorized redirector RI in our case is going to be what's asked of us over here. And we're going to just create this. And now we have our client ID, which we're going to insert here, and our client secret, which we're going to insert here. And after this demo is done, I'm going to delete this so it and, you know, won't be part of um, my credentials anymore. You definitely always want to keep your credentials safe. Connection successful. Great. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so I'm going to exit the workflow. And I submitted for Lanai.com, one of my websites, and my email that I want to receive this report in. And you can see the workflow is running over here. It makes the HTTP request, it fetches the website, and it gets the JSON LD from the website. And then it runs the logic for improving it. And then it sent, and it sent an email, so let's go check it out. And here's our email. We, receive it, we just received it, and uh, it gives us some details about what it was and what it should be. Uh, there's some placeholders and such, but it did the job perfectly. It actually reads through my website and comes up with a pretty uh, lengthy JSON-LD and also how to implement it. So um, yeah, this was a really easy way of installing N8N locally and avoiding the subscription plan. So I recommend it for anybody that wants to have a local workflow.